Welcome to uh, Put the Engines In. in the boat to remove the old engines which have done about 5,000 miles. So the new record attempt, we have two new motors sent to us by coming. We've got a camera crew here today from uh, Nova Scotia, I think in Canada, and they're uh, doing some program about boats. And let's fling earth race in the mix. How important is this in, in the grand scheme of things? Um, it's if we don't get the engines put in today or tomorrow, then it starts to push our weather window out and we miss the weather opportunity, but we've got to nail this now. Like, it's a, it's a really fine line, we've got to get everything finished and get the boat in the water in time. Yeah, come as workers, we approach them after the first rig of attempt, and they were pretty quick to say they give us another set of engines. And uh, these ones were actually already in Europe, so they just grabbed two off the shelf and get to us. We had a wager here this morning, and there was eight of us who reckon the engine wouldn't go on today. So there's been a lot of pressure on old Tino here. I'm starting talking to the engines now because uh, that's one of the main uh, main reasons I feel we can we, we can do these races. So we talk to them and we give our love to them. I give them a kiss. They are beautiful coming to the engines. She wants blood, give her blood. Yeah, the engine's just got to try and get the... the <laughs> We've got it in there, but we can't get the high about yet. But. <laughs> there we go, boys! Nicely done! Well, actually, it wasn't, that, it wasn't a thing of great beauty, that, but we've got two engines in there.